All right, so here we are dealing with the square roots of two mixed numbers, and we have to express our answer as a mixed number. So what I would do for each of these problems, so the first one, is write them as improper fractions. So 6 and a fourth, right, that's a mixed number. Now if I write it as an improper fraction, what happens? Well, remember this is 6 wholes and 1 fourth. Each whole number has 4 fourths in it, right? So as a side image, right, if this is a whole right here, a whole pizza pie or something, and we have six of these. Well, each of them has one, two, three, four fourths in it. So six wholes equals how many fourths? Well, it's 24 fourths, right? Because each of them has, each of the six wholes has four fourths. Six times four is 24. So you can think of this as 24 and a fourth. 24 fourths and a fourth. So 25 fourths. And now we have the square root of this fraction. <coughs> now the second one, same approach, but I'll use a different algorithm. Right? Two holes is 18 ninths plus 7 is 25 ninths. You could have also, the other algorithm that you could use is 9 times 2 is 18 plus 7 is 25. So it's 25 over 9. Now you take the square root of a fraction, you can just take the square root of numerator and denominator. It's a basic law of exponents, right? So here, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 4 is 2, and over here we have the square root of 25, which is 5 over 9, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. We have 5 halves plus 2 thirds. With um, halves and thirds, you want to find a common denominator, which is 6. So I multiply my first fraction, 5 halves, by 3 over 3, and I multiply my second fraction, 5 thirds, by 2 over 2. So what happens, I'll work this way now to the left, we have this fraction, 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, over here, 5 times 3, 15, right, and 2 times 3 is 6, now we have 25 sixths, and we can write this as a mixed number. Um, 6 goes into 25 four times, so it's four holes, and what's left over? 1 sixth, right, so that's our answer. Alright, thanks.